Bismillahir and uh, welcome back to the uh, third video uh, in the series of videos on immunology. In my first video, I've told you about the evidences that proves that there is an immune system in the living organisms and that particular immune system protects the living organism from different kind of pathological condition. In my second video, I gave you an overview of the immune system that what particular type of cells organs, tissues and substances that make up the immune system and that protect the uh, living organism from different pathological condition. Now in this particular video, I want to focus on the history or the birth of immunology, how this fascinating subject of immunology, it gets started. Now like all sciences, the subject of the immunology, it started with observations now, it was observed by the ancient societies that individuals who recover from a particular pathological condition, they are then onward protected from that pathological condition. Or simply you can say that they believed that once you have got an infection from a pathogenic organism, you are not going to get that uh, infection again from that particular pathogenic organism. This was the belief of the ancient societies. Now this belief, it led to the term immunus in the Latin history. So this term immunus is actually a Latin word which means exempt. By that I mean that once you have recovered from a particular pathological condition, you are exempted from that particular pathological condition. You are not going to get that again. So this term immunus, it is actually a Latin word which means exempt. Now this term immunus, it got converted into the term immunity, which is actually an English term. And this immunus is actually, you can say, the word which gave birth to the uh, term immunity in English, which again means exemption. That once you are uh, infected by a particular pathological organism, you are not going to get infected again. This was the belief of the ancient individuals or the ancient people. If you look at the history, uh, one of the uh, important uh, pandemic that occurred in the uh, Greek that was the plague and this plague it killed uh, a lot of greek individuals a lot of greek people now one of the important historian the thucydides uh, he wrote in uh, 430 bc that the uh, patients of the plague that were only looked after by those individuals who recovered from the plague what that mean is that they believe that once you have got the plague you are not going to contract the plague again. That means you can take care of the uh, plague patients. So only the recovered individual, they work as nurses or nurse for the patient of the plague because of this belief that once you have contracted the plague, you have recovered from it, you are not going to get that again. So this was one of the, uh, you can say, important hist historical event uh, as far as the uh, subject of immunology that is concerned. Now all of the uh, societies, all of the uh, historical societies, they believed in this immunis, they believed in this immunity, uh, but this particular uh, subject of the immunology, it got its place in the medical subject about 2000 years ago. So about 2000 years ago, this uh, immunology, it was given a proper place in the medical subject and that was taught in the uh, schools, in the universities and all of the uh, learning places. Now this fascinating subject of immunology, uh, if you go back to the history, if you go back to the, you can say experimental history, it started with the uh, process of the immunization. And the uh, Chinese people and the Turks people uh, in the 15th century, they were the first who deliberately induced immunity in individual. So what they did was, uh, they were doing this deliberately. This was not a natural kind of the infection. So in 15th century, these Chinese and the Turks, they started doing this immunity deliberately. They were actually focusing on the treatment of the uh, smallpox, that how we can uh, 
get uh, rid of the smallpox condition uh, the smallpox is actually skin conditions uh, there are like uh, uh, bumps or scars you can see uh, that uh, are there on the whole body of the individuals especially the children and this smallpox it is caused by the uh, variola major virus this has a mortality rate of 30 percent and those who survived the smallpox they are actually uh, disfigured for their entire life so these chinese and the turks they were actually interested in creating immunity for this smallpox condition uh, what they did was how they did this particular deliberate immunity what they did was that they uh, took the dried crust from the smallpox postules the individual that got infected there was postule uh, in that particular uh, individual so they took the dried crust of these smallpox postules and what they did was that they gave it to the uh, individuals by inhalation or by creating small cuts on their skin and this particular technique that was known as the uh, variolation so in the process of the variolation what they did was that they collected the dried crust from the smallpox postures and they give it to the individual by the inhalation or by making small cuts in their skin and introducing that particular uh, dried crust now this process that was so effective that in uh, 1718 the uh, lady mary wortley who was the wife of the british ambassador to turkey he was she was so impressed by this uh, technique of the variolation and its effectiveness that she performed this process of uh, the uh, variolation on her children to protect them from the uh, smallpox so this was the uh, actual scientific achievement the uh, starting scientific achievements in the uh, subject of the immunology so this started in the 15th century and it was very effective that till uh, in 1718 lady uh, mary wortley she uh, performed the variolation on her children to protect them from the smallpox after that comes the golden era of the uh, Edward Jenner and we will focus on the uh, experiments of the uh, Edward Jenner in the next video so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel uh, hit the uh, notification bell so that you can get notification for all of the coming videos and share it with your friends I'll see you in the uh, next video